Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and today we're going to talk about concatenation. What is concatenation? Well, concatenation is um, combining one or more strings together and or I should say two or more strings together and what we're doing is creating a new string object by doing this. So let's take a look at how it works. So let's create a sh simple string. This is a string Boom. So we got our, our string, open a quote, closing quote. Then the plus symbol is the concat concatenator or concatenation of the two strings. Then we'll put a second string. This is a second string. I hit return. And what we did was we created a new string object. And you see here we combined them. Now you may be wondering, uh, well, there's no space. That kind of looks stupid. Well, there's a couple ways to add a space. Let's see, take a look at them. First one is we're going to add a space to the end of our first string. So we'll do space and then close out our quote. And then plus and then this is a second string. Boom. That's one way to add a space in between them. Another way would be to do it this way. And then space. This is a second string and that would add the space or we could do it my preferred method as creating a third string this is a string and then uh, concatenating three strings together so we we'll put a space in between this string so it's an empty string with a space but then it's not technically an empty string it's a space and then we'll add our third string to this. This is a second string. And we add them together. Now this is my preferred method because say we want to call this string somewhere in our program and then we want to call this string somewhere in our program and then we want to add them together somewhere else in the program. Well it's not going to look right if this string has a space here or this string has a space here somewhere in our code. Alright so if we call the third string the one we just added here, then we can add that in there and say, hey, this is uh, where it's going to be, and we're not, you know, modifying this string or this string. All right. So how would we do something like that? Let's do a is equal to the first string that we did. This is a string. Let's do b is equal to our sec our second string here. Alright, so we'll do this is a second string. And then C will be equal to um, our space string. And then we're going to add them together. And we're going to create a, n a completely new um, object. So we want to be able to call that somewhere in our program. So we're going to um, assign D to that object. So we'll do uh, A plus C plus B, and we will get our string. So if we do print D, boom, there's our string. This is a string, and this is our second string. So what happened here? We took this variable, and we added it down here to D. We took this variable, or I should say we took this variable, and added it here for the space in between the two strings, and then we add it be here. So I can use these over and over again if I'm setting them up with variables. All right. So that gives us more flexibility and it gives us a better um, chance of not repeating ourselves. And that's the key in programming is not to repeat yourself. Now, <clears throat> um, another thing we'll look at, what happens if we have a string? So say we have, uh, let's do a plus 9. All right. So we want to add, this is a string, and we want to have 9 in there. Well, we can't add an integer to it. We'd have to convert it to a, a string. So let's hit return and see what happens. Type error. Can't convert int object to string. So what would we do? We do A plus, oops, plus, and then str 
this built-in function to convert an integer to a string or any type object that you convert can convert hit return this is a string plus nine all right well I didn't really want that um, plus there so hold on let me move up my terminal just a tad here so we didn't we want a space there so let's do um, a plus C plus string converting this integer to a string and hit return now what happens if we do a float well float work let's just take a look a little practice a plus C plus 9.0 hit return can't convert a float object to a string okay so how will we fix that well how about we do a plus C plus string 9.0 hit return and there you go so it converts this to 9.0 all right so if you have any questions leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com and we'll see you in the next tutorial have a nice day